Hi, I'm Mark from Sounds in Sync, the developer of EDQ. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of what's new in EDQ version 3. Here's the new main window. It's been completely redesigned to allow you to customize your cue sheets and exports in all sorts of wonderful new ways. All settings are still stored in the production settings file, but the location of this file can now be customized. So your EDQ settings can now live on an external or network drive. The main tab contains the new segment list. This allows you to queue multiple episodes or reels in the one Pro Tools session. The data for this list can be loaded from the Prod Info track in the session. Create a clip for each segment, in this case, each reel. Then name each clip with the reel number and picture version. This data is loaded into the segment list and can be used as part of the exported file names, queue numbers, and PDF data fields. The main window now also contains the character list. Check which characters are to be exported and set the record time for a regular queue and a BVOX queue. BVOX, or breaths and vocal cues, can be assigned a shorter record time and appear separately in the ADR summary. On the General Settings tab, you can now set up the ADR summary to contain reason categories. Configure the categories and associated reasons here. This will export totals for each category below every character and the main total line. In this example, we can see the number of cues required for technical versus production requests. Coming back to the General Settings tab, the names of all exported files can be customized in this token field. Drag and drop the required tokens. Additional alphanumeric characters can also be added. ADRQ numbers are customized on this tab. Set up if the counter is to be sourced from custom queue numbers in the Pro Tools clip names or generated internally. Select the number of leading zeros in the counter and select the counting method. From using a global counter to resetting the counter for each new segment or scene. Lastly, set up the contents of the queue number using this token field. Additional alphanumeric characters can also be added where required. The main update that comes with EDQ version 3 is the option to customise the PDF layouts. The layouts shown here with blue names are presets. Check the PDFs to be exported, setting the PDF title, ID, orientation and sort order. Duplicate a preset layout to change which band designs make up the layout. You can hover over a design name to show a preview of it. Click one of the design buttons above the PDF layout list to configure the band designs in the Setup Bands window. The bands with names shown in blue are presets and cannot be changed. To modify a preset design, duplicate it first. Each band has a portrait and landscape design. Double click either image to load it into the designer window. The designer window here is used to customize each band design. It contains the object toolbar on the left, the designer window, and property list on the right. Adjust the zoom factor with this slider. Objects can be dropped onto a design. For example, a logo can be added to this header with the picture object. You can select the image file here and drag the logo where required. For a Q band design, time codes and footages can be displayed, showing either the start, end, or duration of a queue. Simply select the required field from the data field menu. The PDF editable menu allows you to create PDFs where the data in the PDF can be edited in a PDF viewer. The preset to be written PDF layout creates fields in this way to allow a writer to update the queues directly in the PDF. Also in the property list, check PDF adjustable for the objects that need to adjust when a queue has a long ADR line. During export, if a line will not fit in the line field, EDQ will automatically expand the height of the queue and all selected objects so that all text can be displayed. Instead of using a field object to display a data field, a label object can be used by adding a formula. 
enter a formula into the value property of the label to change the look of the label depending on the value of the data field. Labels are used in the preset band designs to display the to be written data field and highlight the field in the queues that need a line to be written. Once a design is complete, close the design window, save the band designs, and in the PDF layout list, assign the new design to a PDF layout. Also on the export tab, use the split queues for new segments control to have EDQ export the queues for new reels or episodes onto a new page of the PDF, or it can create separate PDFs for the queues of each segment. Character PDFs can also be created in their own subfolders, like this. The session interface window has also had a makeover. While opening it, you'll see the reason list has been expanded. When working on a queue session that has used the EDQ version 2 default reasons, be sure to click the Load Legacy Defaults button so the reasons continue to match. The ADRQ line field can now be styled with bold, italic, underlined, and different colored text. This styling is appended to the font size and alignment properties set in the design window. So the style text shown here is exported in the preset director PDF like this, and in the preset actor PDF like this. The session interface window now uses the built-in Mac OS and Windows spell checkers, and PDF scripts can be loaded as before by dropping them onto the window. Additional controls have been added to set the new queue status, BVOX, safety only, and editable fields. Another handy new feature in EDQ version 3 is its ability to load changes made in PDFs containing editable fields. So when you have exported a PDF containing editable fields, like the to be written PDF, and emailed it to the writer on the show, when it's sent back to you, it can be loaded back into EDQ to import just the lines that have been changed. You can then export an AEF to create a session of just these new lines and import them into your master queue session. This simplifies the process of updating queues with newly written lines. The last main update is part of the Import ADR Queue Data feature. When importing ADR queues from text or Excel files, the fields are now auto-aligned, either using the field headers or by analysing the data within each column. Files can also be loaded when only some of the fields are present. Missing fields can be preset using this setup window. And just a heads up, if you're looking for the sample files, they can be now saved from the help menu along with the new user guide. I hope you enjoy the new features of EDQ version 3. To try EDQ version 3 out for yourself, either on Mac OS or Windows, just head to the download page of the website. Once the app is installed, just run it and click Try to activate a trial license.